What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my everyday makeup look because I actually just have to go somewhere right now. So I was like, I can't do anything too crazy and wild because I have to be somewhere. It's so easy and quick and the steps are really simple. It takes me maybe five minutes when I'm not like talking so much. I hope you guys um, get some little tips and tricks from like how I do things in a natural way, but kind of little shortcuts I take every day. These are my ride or die products. They're my favorite go-to products that I've talked about in multiple videos, but it's really what I use every day. I wanted to mention this too, and not everybody um, was privy to this. Don't feel like you have to take, take, ugh. Don't feel like you have to take notes during the video. Everything I um, talk about is linked down below in the description box. I've done all the homework for you. I list the, the brand, the product, and the color I use. Everything's already there for you if you have any questions. And also just comment if you have any further questions and I'm happy to answer them for you. So thank you for joining. Please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. I'm having a ton of fun doing these, but we gotta keep the train moving. Thank you so much for watching and have fun. So every day I keep my makeup in this little bag that my friend Britt got me, it's so cute. It's just easy for me not to have to pluck everything out of my um, acrylic bins where I keep my makeup. So I keep everything in here and it's super easy for me to grab. And the first thing I always do is concealer. And I have my favorite RMS on cover up. I use this in every video. I'm, I'm sure everybody's really tired of me using it, but it's what I love. It, it's it's my favorite concealer. So. I'm just gonna do a little bit around my eyes. And then I'll use my favorite brush here, which is my Morphe E8. One of my friends just asked me about this the other day. Um, like she asked me what a good concealer brush is. And I recommended this brush. This is my absolute favorite and I do use it every day. There are quite a few other nice concealer brushes out there right now. Hourglass makes a really beautiful one. Selena Gomez Rare Beauties brand makes a concealer brush that's supposed to be really nice. I just bought the foundation brush from her during this for the Sephora sale, so I'm very excited to see what that's like. But this for $8, you can't beat it. Morphe E8. So every day I just massage a little bit of this in wherever I need some coverage. This is like a hybrid concealer foundation, so it really can be used anywhere for any purpose and it blends into the skin and looks like skin. So I absolutely love it for every day. So just do a little bit around the eye, mouth, and then to cover this pigmentation I have over here. And it covers pretty well. You can layer it up really easily. I can't say, I don't, I can't say a bad thing about this product. It is forever gonna be in my everyday makeup bag. Next step is blush, and I'm using the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk, and I've used this in other videos before. I love cream blush for every day. I think it's the easiest to blend out, and I think it looks the most natural. It looks like skin. I have a lot of cream blushes. This is one of my favorites. They just launched two new colors I saw today which I'm very excited about. I probably will get at least one of them. One looks like um, a color that looks like tanned, like sunburnt skin, which is like my favorite look ever. Cause I don't, I hate getting sunburned, horrible, bad for you. We know that, but I love the look of a rosy sun flushed skin. So I kind of want to try those new colors, but this one's like a very neutral tan. It goes with anything and everything and it blends out so easily and I use my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe cheek brush. This is my favorite brush for cream, bronzers, and blushes. I don't use it, I use it for foundation but I mostly use it for blush and bronzer, cream. I pack this on, quite a bit of it. I love blush, wakes you up, nose. And then I'll do a little bit on my eyelid because I don't do any eyeshadow or anything. Just so my lid gets a little bit of color. And I like the monochromatic look. So whatever is on your cheeks is on your eyes. That's kind of my favorite look for every day. Whatever I do put on my cheeks, I do just run through my eye, my eyelid. I could use this brush like for 20 minutes straight. 
it is blending. It so, feels so good on the skin. Okay, that looks good. See here we just have like a very easy flush cheek. Very natural. I love flush cheeks. It's kind of like my go-to thing. Next step, I would do a little bit of powder because this is my last cream cheek product or face product. So I just do a little bit of powder with the Hourglass um, Veil Translucent Powder and I have the mini one. Oh, our light. What's in the cap of the translucent powder is what I always use. I never dip into the actual powder. That's just way too much powder for me. I'm, I'm not a powder gal. So I just put this in the areas where I get a little bit more shiny or I'm kind of always shiny, but I like that look. <laughs> so I just put it in the places I don't want to be shiny, which is like under my eye, around my mouth, the front of my cheek here. And then I'll do a little bit over here where I covered those, that pigmentation. Next step is going to be a little bit of bronzer. I don't go wild with the bronzer because I have a lot of cheek color going on already, but just something to warm up the rest of the skin. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna, my little travel one here. And then this is my favorite uh, bronzer brush. It is the Morphe S15. I think it's for just called like a powder brush online. I've used it forever, I've had it forever, but I think it's really nice when you buff in powder, cause it's very, very fluffy. And when you swirl it in, it just melts into the skin, whatever powder you're using, powder bronzer or powder highlight. And nothing comes out patchy, it's very soft. So I love it and it's so, so affordable. These Morphe brushes are like $4 to $10. They're very, very affordable and the quality is so good. So I'm just gonna do it a little bit across all of my face, nowhere precise, just to give the rest of my skin a little bit of bronze. And then some into my eyelid. Normally if I'm doing this every day, which is what I do every day, it takes me five minutes, if that, super quick. And this bronzer has a little bit of shimmer in it. It's not really noticeable. In the pan, you can see some shimmer, but on the skin, it just makes it look really healthy. Next, I would be brows. Everyone's probably so sick of me talking about this, but it's the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in soft brown. It's sort of all I ever do to my brows because I my brows are pretty good. They are what they are. I don't really try and change the shape or anything. So when I run this through my brows, it just gives them a little bit more life and that's fine for me. The next step, if I were to do it, which I'm gonna do a little bit today, but I don't always, which is highlighter. Because my skin already has kind of a glow happening between the skincare and the bronzer and the blush, I don't always put highlighter on during the day because I feel like it can be just too much of a look. But I think the most requested thing I get asked about all the time is how do you get your skin so shiny? Everyone always asks, why is your skin so shiny? <laughs> and I don't actually have an oily skin type at all. I actually have dry skin. But skin prep is the most important thing you can do before putting on makeup. Makeup really won't do anything for you if you don't take care of your skin and moisturize and moisturize and moisturize. That's all I can say, but that is my like number one tip is, you know, prep your skin before, really take care of your skin. My morning skincare routine goes in, into it in more detail, but every day I use a vitamin C serum, an eye cream, and the Super Goop um, Everyday Moisturizer, which has SPF in it already. And those combined things, they're all very hydrating and there's tons of products in the market that you don't have to use those products, but a serum and a moisturizer on you know clean skin will really make your skin shiny. And I get that question a lot. Why is it always so shiny? It's skin prep. It's not really makeup. It's, it's the skin underneath. So that's my hot tip, but I'll do a little bit of highlighter, RMS, Living Luminizer, the, the original one one of my faves and I'll just do a tiny bit on the tops of my cheekbones and you can see already there makes them really shiny which I do love I don't do it every day if I don't feel like I need it but for the sake of the video we will do some 
And then my favorite part of highlighter is always the nose highlight. I have like an obsession with a shiny nose. I think it looks really, really healthy. I think, I forget the makeup artist I was listening to talk about it, but they kind they sometimes, oh, I think it's um, Violette here on YouTube. And she also is like an editorial makeup artist that I've worked with on sets before. She skips foundation and concealer on her nose purposefully because when you have a shinier nose, I mean, the nose is the most prominent feature on your face, but when it has less product on it or it's more shiny, it gives the appearance that there's less makeup on the face in general. So that was a really interesting tip that I heard her say. I don't put foundation on every day, so that's not a concern of mine, but to get that shinier nose, I do love highlighter on the nose. <laughs> I love a shiny nose. The mascara that I wear every day is the Glossier Lash Slick. This is a new found love of mine and I used to not wear mascara every day. I would just kind of do these steps and then stop here and then maybe like lip gloss. This has kind of changed the game for me because I've got quite long lashes but they're not very dark. But I hate the feeling of mascara on my eyelids every single day and I like to kind of keep them healthier and I don't want to put a ton of mascara on every day because I just in my mind I don't know why I think that ruins my lashes which is definitely not true but this has really changed the game for me if you've got longer lashes but they're not very dark try this for every day it looks like you have lash extensions or like a lash tint so it looks so natural and it doesn't feel like anything. So this has been like a massive game changer for me every day now. I'm like a loyalist to this mascara and I was like kind of a hater of it when I uh, when it first came out. I was like, who would ever need a mascara that does nothing? And then here I am using it every day. I'm just gonna do one coat on the top lashes and then a tiny, tiny bit on the bottom lashes just to like tint them a little bit but I wanna show you the difference between this eye and the other eye when I'm done. And it's so subtle, but I think it's so perfect for every day. So if you can see the difference, they're just slightly darker and slightly more defined and wispy and longer and I think this has been a major game changer for me every day. It makes me look more awake, but I don't look mascara-y because I, I do have long lashes. So when I do use regular mascara, it builds up quick and I like that look for nighttime because they are really heavy. But for every day, I don't want to I don't want to have those spidery lashes. So this to me was like a major game changer. So I'm gonna do um, one coat on this uh, top eye and then I'm gonna do a tiny bit on the bottom eye, just bottom lashes just to tint them and then we're, we're almost done. So I'll be right back. It just defines the lashes and I, I think, wow, I love this mascara. Last little bit about it because I need to shut up about this mascara. I keep talking about it. Because the wand is so tiny and it's got the plastic bristle, which I normally hate plastic bristles, but this really changed my opinion. You can really define each individual lash if you want to. So I've got I've got quite a bit of lash here and I like the outer corner to be really like winged out and defined. So it kind of, you know, makes it more of a cat eye shape. Game changer. If you've got light lashes, but you have a lot of lashes, this is the one. My last little lash trick that I'll do, and this is something I would do even without mascara before I got onto this mascara, is defining the lash line, the upper water line here, and just dragging a brown pencil out slightly to get that little cat eye effect. It changes the shape of your eye from whatever your eye is and just brings it slightly up and it makes you look more awake. So I'm gonna do that today. I don't do it every day, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you this pencil, also another game changer for me, the Marc Jacobs eyeliner pencils. They're called Highliner, matte gel eye crayon. And this is called Brownie. Amazing color, neutral matte brown. They stay all day and they actually do cling to your waterline. So I'm just gonna hop it in there. 
just to make the lashes look slightly thicker. And then I'm gonna drag a little wing out and you'll see just um, in one second what, what that does. So I take this corner here and I just bring it up a little bit and you can see the little flick right there. It ever so slightly changes the direction of your eye, but it's so subtle, you would never even know it's a thing. I might do a whole video on just my little tips and tricks. I think that'd be really fun. Cause hacks can be gimmicky, but there are certain things I love doing that are just shortcuts and really do change the illusion of what's going on. So this is one of them. Last step would be lips. And I have this little bag that I keep in my purse that has kind of like my everyday little like toiletries in it that I use. So I'll show you some of the glosses and things that I keep in here that I use. I actually just use every day. It's my go-to. Classic Blistex. It's the best. It's got SPF in it. It's minty, hydrates, protects, love. Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow, the original. Best lip gloss ever made. I wear it every day. The Maybelline Lifter glosses that just came out are really good. This color is in silk. It's kind of the color of my lips already. It's very opaque as opposed to the Gloss Bomb, which is very sheer and it's more of a glossy, glittery lip. This is an, op an opaque color. There's no shimmer to it. It's just very, um, there's no transparency either. So it looks like my lip color, but it's just more full on and more glossy. So this is what I would use in that scenario if I wanted that. Then I have a tiny little bite lipstick in the color Chai. I keep this as an option in my bag. So I have a more full on lipstick. If I wanna feel like more put together with what I have on my face already. So this is the color. It's really natural, but it's really nice for the fall months because it has that kind of nutmeggy maroon tone, but it still looks very natural. And then I have two of my favorite lip pencils. The first is the Jane Eardale, Eardale, Eardale pencil in Spice. And I'll show you on my hand here. It's basically the color of my lips. It's a long wearing pencil. So I wear that most days with the Fenty Gloss Bomb just to give my lips a little definition, a little shine, that's as far as I go. Or I'll use the NYX new truffle pencil, which is more of a contour color if I want like a brownie tone lip with the gloss bomb. So it just kind of switches the look a little bit, but here is the Jane Iredale Spice and here is NYX new truffle. So you can see the difference. One is like my lip color, one is brown, but they just, they both just define the lips in a different way. So I have two, two of those options in my bag every day. I'm gonna do the Jane Eardell Spice. And I had on some Aquaphor this morning, so that kind of soaked in. So my lips are prepped, so I'm just gonna outline my lips. And you can see it's not crazy different than what my lips already are but it just gives them a little more definition. I love lip liner. I think it really defines the face. It defines your features. Now I'll put this on in the morning and it'll wear off in like three out, two hours because I'm eating or drinking or talking, but um, they're easy to, to reapply. Then I do some gloss balm. So this is my final everyday makeup look. It is truly what I do most days. And I hope I taught you guys a little like tips and tricks things that I do to kind of just enhance your natural features but not go overboard. And these are my favorite products. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.